my friends in this tutorial I am going to show you how to recreate the creative meditation six square process in procreate using clipping masks so enjoy the first thing you need to do is set up your file so go ahead and pause the video so you can see these layers that we're going to start with the order is important the grid layer with just the six squares on it needs to be at the top. It is your reference layer. And after that, there'll, you'll use it as a reference and then you'll fill in the white squares on the layer immediately below it. And then we'll have a color one, a color two, and a black lines layers. Those doesn't matter the order of those because we're going to be moving those around. So pause it and get your layers set up. And now let's work through each of the layers. So we're going to move that black lines layer in between the grid reference layer and the white layers. We're going to turn on the clipping mask and then we're just going to find a brush that is going to make some kind of cool textures and we're just going to brush it along the whole canvas. Because we have colored in those white squares and you are using the clipping mask on this layer, it's only going to show up on those white squares. So do it a couple times till you can wrap your mind around what's going on and then just have fun with the brushes. It really is a blast. So I'm kind of zooming in so you can see I'm repeating the circle pattern. So I'm going to do two or three, or actually I think I'll do three within each of those smaller squares. Now I'm going to repeat the circle, but I'm playing with it in different ways. Sometimes it will perhaps cross some of the other lines that are there. Sometimes it's going to go off of the square. So this is where we start tinkering a little bit into design work. Um, and notice the one thing as I'm looking at this, I, if I redid it, I think I would do that large circle that's in all four quadrants. I might change that up a bit, but this will be good for an example. Now we're going to move color in between the black lines and the white grid. So we added these uh, interesting black lines and now I'm going to grab some watercolor, uh, watercolor brush. I think I'll play with some yellow and getting a big brush and I'm just super fast. I'm not thinking about this. I'm just covering the canvas and putting a little bit in each square. So I kind of play a game with this. Now I'm going to change the color a bit. And so I'm just going to touch each of those six squares very quickly. I'm not overthinking this. I am getting into the flow. It's going to be very easy working on the iPad to overthink the meditative flow because you have unlimited choice, honestly. So just uh, pick a couple of colors and like I said, just quickly repeat it in each one of those, those squares. I think that will be really a nice way to approach this work. And now let's take that color two and notice again we're going to sandwich it between color one and the white rectangles so it will inherit the clipping mask so just double check to make sure you see the down arrow I'm going to grab a blue color I might change my brush a little bit um, so I'm not working on the same layer as the yellow and you'll notice it kind of turns a little bit green because of the blue and the yellow, but um, putting eight, dividing each color on a separate layer because then you can go back and you can play with it a little more if you want to. Um, notice it's watercolor, so I'm getting a little texture when I overlay one um, mark or one stroke with the other. I think that's kind of cool. It is uh, pretty opaque, I mean pretty opaque, pretty transparent. And again, notice what I'm doing, my workflow, I'm just hitting each one of the squares with whatever I'm doing. When I change the brush, 
when I change the color, I'll just put a little bit in each square. Don't overthink it, move pretty quickly and it will develop, it'll look pretty, it, it ends up looking really interesting just as you get in the flow. Again, cautionary tale on the iPad because there's so many choices and see what I'm doing here. I didn't like my choice, so I'm backing out and gonna go back to that same blue that I was using. But what I decided to do is, as I'm kind of testing it out here, see, I can't get the blue color. So another way we could adjust for that, because I'm wanting a little, little more contrast, is we could actually add um, another layer to the palette and then come on top of it. But for this one, I'm gonna take and continue since I've kind of started with this. And so we'll see how this turns out. Yeah, I'm watching this. Um, I hope this doesn't make you a little uh, dizzy as you see me twist it all around, but I like to zoom in. Uh, that's the other thing is move your canvas around uh, on the iPad. If we were working analog, I rotate my sketchbook, I rotate any of the medium that I'm working on, especially when I'm doing something abstract like this. Um, so yeah, the other thing I would suggest if you're working on the iPad is to maybe select your brushes before so you're not spending a lot of time um, jumping around in there. And this is what I was uh, mentioning. I'm trying to add a little more contrast. So what we'll do here is let's just create another layer we're going to squeeze it. I'm starting with it between the blue and the white, but I'm going to move it between the black and the yellow. And you'll see here why. See, I wanted that dark blue contrast. Yeah, see that? I think that contrast just adds a little bit here at the end. And this is also a pressure sensitive brush. So I'm getting some thick and some thins, just exploring. So I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a really quick tutorial, just a refresher on clipping masks and a way to use them in a digital creative meditation. So if you do create something, be sure and tag me, Super Doodle Girl, when you post online and check out superdoodlegirl.com where you can see other all my courses and sign up for the newsletter. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.